Netcast you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Next, in the 1.5 Mojang update, codenamed the Redstone update, uh, Redstone components were uh, added that act more in an analog function. These can be useful in creating smarter Redstone creations that are able to look at specific quantities of other items. It won't be as hard to master as you think, so let me just jump straight in. So, uh, what do I mean when I say analog redstone? Here is an example of it with this daylight detector. It is true that it is still pretty digital in that uh, you have an on and an off state. The redstone can't be half on or half off or, or anything like that. But the way that it is measuring items in games or quantities in games is sort of digital you, you, or sort of uh, analog. So you can see that uh, <laughs> we're getting analog in a digital world. Um, so you can see that this uh, redstone lamp just uh, powered on. And what is happening is this daylight detector is looking at the amount of sun in the world and adding a redstone uh, level according to the quantity that is in the world. So we're moving along here. I'm not exact. It looks like we're around uh, 10 or 11 blocks uh, to the end here. And as the sun progresses further and further, it will add extra current to the end of the redstone, powering it more and more. And then as the sun goes down, it will take that power away. This is no known, uh, I like to call it a power level. It's just kind of an easy way to think of it. So just to show it off, uh, let's say uh, the sun is at noon. I just moved it using command block. Here it is fully powered uh, with the full 15 um, power level behind it. So this is a 15 block uh, uh, redstone current. Uh, let's try moving it to uh, night, so sun is setting, and here we go, we only have uh, two blocks uh, of, uh, two, two um, redstone level, a power level of two, and then if uh, we just went down to one, and then I can set it back to uh, midday or, or more or, uh, rising, and we have sort of a uh, medium here. So that is what I mean by analog redstone components, is that it is sending out a power level uh, associated with the quantity that it is looking at. Uh, some other of the, some more of these uh, uh, redstone components are pressure plates. Uh, there is a iron pressure plate and a golden pressure plate. The iron pressure plate uh, requires more items to set it off. This is not set off by uh, players in game, but only by falling entities. So when we drop a whole bunch of entities on it, I believe that it is 42 entities to set off a single redstone current. So we can hit it again and send off a whole bunch more entities and it will bump up to uh, two here. Uh, the gold pressure plate works just about the same way, except it only needs four entities to set off a single redstone current. So uh, every time that four of these of these nice little iron bars fall on it, uh, it goes up a power level. Um, so that is a few of the analog um, uh, components in game. Next is the comparator. The comparator uh, adds analog functions to items that really don't have any way of having an analog uh, component associated with it. So if you place a comparator on the side of, a, of an item that has an inventory, like this chest, this chest has an inventory full of emeralds, it will output a power level uh, with a ratio of how, of how full this item is. And so you can see uh, this is 15 blocks of redstone dust on the floor, and because this is a completely full chest, all 15 are powered. If I go ahead and grab a whole bunch of this emerald, it's an emerald rush, you can see that now the redstone current is uh, a lot less powered. But of course, I really don't want all of these emeralds, so let me just give them all back because uh, who wants that many emeralds? And now we are powered again. So some of the items that can uh, that this can be added to, we have a whole bunch of uh, comparators added to a whole bunch of different blocks. We have a furnace. A furnace can have an inventory. We have a dropper or a dispenser. Both of these have inventories. We got 
We got uh, splash potions in there. Also, the brewing stand uh, will have an inventory. And you can tell that the comparator is working because of the uh, redstone lamps that are powered on behind them. Next is the item hopper. Uh, also, these detector rails will detect the amount of items in the uh, chest that it is laying on top of. Very, very useful stuff. Next is this good old CD player or jukebox. If, if, if I'm not going to actually, I don't want music to play, so I'm not going to put the, the disc in there. But you can tell that the redstone lamp turned off. Uh, and so those are the items that the comparator can be added to to get this analog function out of. And why is this useful? Well, uh, let's say you wanted to know that your hopper was full. Now you have a way of telling exactly how full it is. Next is a trapped chest. Uh, this chest is different than the normal chest because uh, you can see sort of a little bit of red around the clasp here. And the trapped chest will output a signal depending on how many people are inside of this trapped chest. So you can see this the singular redstone current down here, the particles coming off of the chest. That is because I'm inside the chest. Once I uh, leave the inventory of the chest, the particles go away. When I open it, they come back. Uh, so that is a function of the trap chest. You don't need a comparator to uh, show that off. And a little bit more of showing off how the comparator works, uh, let's talk about the functions of this amazing block in Minecraft. The first function that it does is it will compare two signals, and uh, if the one signal is larger than the other signal, it will turn off uh, the redstone current going through it. So the two signals that you can have is an A signal, which is this signal right here. You can remember it because the comparator makes sort of an A on the top. And then the B signal. The B signal comes in from the side here to, uh, to, to create that, uh, to, to have a secondary B input. And then some people think of the output as C, but it's also just the singular output, so I'll just call it output. So what it is going to do is it is going to compare the B side, and if the B side has a greater power level than the A side, it will shut off this current. So uh, we have the power level marked here. This is power level 15. Uh, actually, yes, power level uh, 15, because this is power level 16 and then 15 going in. I actually think this is 15 and then 14. We may be a little bit off in our counting, but it doesn't matter because everything is consistent. So if uh, I turn this on, it acts the way that I just described in that this B side is greater than A, so the output turns off. Now, if we don't use power level 15 and we go over here and use power level 10, uh, 10 is less than 12. This is a length of uh, power level 12, so a length of, of uh, uh, however many that is, 4. Um, and then if we turn that on, uh, we can tell that power level is less, so of course the output stays on. Now, this comparator has a secondary function. If you right-click the comparator, it raises that torch, and now it is in subtraction mode. Yes, it is a calculator and a comparator all in one. And what it calculates is the difference between uh, A and B. It will subtract B from A, or if I was to write out the equation, it would be A minus B. So uh, here we have a power level of 12 and a power level of 10. So obviously, easy math, it should give us a power level of 2 when we do that, and yes, indeedy, it does. We have 2 uh, redstone, uh, a, a redstone level of 2 at the end. Now, you may be thinking, does it do negative math? So if we have power level 15 here, uh, and going into power level 12, that would be negative 3, and the answer is, no, no, it doesn't do negative math. It just turns off uh, the, the redstone current. So that is the comparator. Okay, so now we are done with the basics of the basics. It's time to move on to the complicated stuff, logic gates. That's right. I wasn't kidding when I said this stuff can get complicated quick. So go ahead and check out the next video in the series.